Yeah. Welcome to Gutter Stars. This is a Spelljammer AD&D live stream. And uh, this is, I think it's session 14 of Spelljammer. We've obviously done other stuff in this show, but I think session 14 of Spelljammer. And our our heroes have, uh, yeah, they've, they've, they've gone uh, grave robbing in the Rock of Brawl uh, in between times, in between missions, uh, after having explored a wrecked Nort mind flare and nautiloid. Uh, does, yeah, Alex, do you want to give, because Alex, you were here last time, weren't you? Do you want to give a summary of what happened last time? Um, yeah, so we, we discovered that um, this map we had led to um, kind of underneath this fairly well-to-do um, opera house and type bar. Um, yeah, but the, yeah, the kind of musical theme, like musical showing restaurant that's next to the big theatre. Like you're in the arts district, basically. Yeah, um, yeah and it, it's kind of the entrance we need is hidden behind a wall that has been built over, just kind of plastered over, but definitely requires some uh, working to get to. So we came up with about a dozen awful plans, <laughs> uh, and and I guess we went with the, the least bad of them, which was we'd just wait until it got kind of dark, just rock up, sneak around the back, and, and start breaking down the wall um, with a few plans to uh, deal with things if we got discovered. Uh, we nearly got discovered when a random um, patrol of God, like, like 20 men walked past, uh, but thankfully I am an illusionist, uh, so I conjured a shrubbery to hide us and the, the hole in the wall. Uh, a shrubbery? A shrubbery! Um, so that went quite well, uh, until we got inside. Um, I found this <laughs> probably, probably archeo archaeologically interesting um, tomb. Um, three um, casket isn't the right word. Uh, sarcophagi type things. Big stone um, things full of bodies. Um, <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Um, we opened the first one. Uh, after I inspected it for traps, and it was trapped. And then it had a, a second sarcophagus within it, which we opened after I checked for traps, and it was also trapped. Um, so we all took, uh, not, I don't think we all took, but a lot of us took some, lost a point of constitution to um, poisonous gas. Uh, and then I think we opened the second one, and that one wasn't trapped, but also didn't have anything interesting in it. It had no idea it had giant rats. Stop oh, trying yes. to get out of oh, yes. being killed by giant rats. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. I, 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 I remember just... what happened last session. Nothing. Nothing happened. You just. I, I, I remembered we hadn't opened the third, but I forgot why we hadn't opened the third yet. Yeah, the second one was full of rats. Um, <laughs> and, and that was where we ended the session. Yeah. Good. Just uh, got my attention. It's... Yeah, that was, that was where I left the session. And uh, yeah, what. Uh, we there's a small small bit of admin we should do before we kick back in, but the characters who are going to be active tonight are because people have started to create their stable because we now have people training and stuff. We have had more people training except for the unfortunate Yagol mind blast that killed uh, our second level thief and uh, an experienced quite experienced first level invoker. Um, but yeah, we've got Alex's uh, character Will Ferris Spark, who is a thief illusionist gnome. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, Beach is playing a half elf, uh, a purple skinned half elf conjurer, uh, and Simon is playing an elven fighter, uh, Tom Thumb. That's uh, Will's villain and Tom Thumb. And then Andrew, while the major is training, is playing Dr. Jones. Who's Dr. Jones? Uh, Dr. Jones is a Zilchil, which is a sort of rather creepy insectoid thing that has a reputation have rep tend to have reputations for um rather dodgy <laughs> uh, surgeries and medical practices he def he claims to have a real medical license and is basically, yeah, uh, basically afraid of a barber surgeon in sort of the slum area Gender nice. customers probably <laughs> really Can don't have anything else to tell ink at people I can't spray ink at people. I can secrete poison. If, if which I have lots of very weird abilities like that. Basically, if I essentially get a DNA sample 
someone in combat by like sort of licking a drop of their blood or whatever because I'm that creepy. I can next round start secreting a poison that will be very effective <laughs> against that person particular. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you're getting encouragement in the comments, uh, Alex, from our resident gnome in our Open Tables Realm game. Realms game. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. Um, Orphans player is uh, says go go gnome greatness. So you are you are upholding the pride of the race tonight. Yeah. yeah. Zilchil also have access to the body modification proficiency, which allows you to do some absolutely horrific things to people if they survive the surgery. Well, that could be fun I mean, later. They're, they're very Any cool. volunteers. They're very good things at the cost of, like, most of your charisma. Yep. If there's anyone who'd so, like to volunteer for some, you know, corrective surgery... <coughs> help you know, insert like not some having enough arms. You, you only have two, but people have four arms normally, don't they? You can uh, Okay. And, uh, yeah, to Tom. Uh, who have you got tonight? You've just rolled up a character. Uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, roll up a name here. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we're doing it live here. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you. Have who you got your eighteen am... page backstory? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a. Uh... What is going on here? I just want. To... Uh, well, I'll tell you who I what I am first. I'm a I'm a ranger. Um, I rolled some pretty interesting stats, so I've got high enough stats to get into ranger. But I've had to do a couple of dump stats, so I have uh, seven int and five charisma. So I'm just like a big hulking, bald guy who just like sorry, like I got blonde, close cropped hair, and I just stand there dribbling out of one side of my mouth and grunting at people. Yeah. That's basically what I do, and I. Shoot at things with a bow, and anything that isn't that, or playing with animals, I know nothing of. Yeah. yeah so yeah, the uh, uh, because it, yeah, there are no strips, that true dump stats in the sense of uh, you can just hide something. So it means you have very few NWPs, and you, um, yeah, you just can't really have followers. <laughs> and you can have very few, uh, and they don't like you when they do follow you. No. Um. Great. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Uh, one thing we need to do before we return to the catacomb uh, is Andrew and Tom, their characters survived uh, the mind blasting. In fact, I think technically, like, Stipe or something was the last person able to properly functionally act, um, and that and therefore it's he who threw the Greek fire, which blew up Yago, and also blew up um, Flynn's corpse with his gunpowder on it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they have got enough to... Yeah, Andrew asks, is having zero charisma lethal? Um, it is... I, it, I don't think it is, because it, at least in terms of where monsters drain certain stats, it then declares that's lethal. But zero charisma, I guess, uh, you could just be the most repulsive thing ever. Wait. In every respect. We just have no friends. It's... Charisma isn't yeah. just like ability to, you know. Charisma is more than just like like personality. Well, I mean, it is personality. Like with zero charisma, you'd have like no personality. You'd be, you know, unable to make any choice or influence anything. Um... Awesome. Are you us? Us? Yeah, uh, uh, Alex. Is this also about graphical or? Um, I've, I've, I've never, I've never reduced anyone's charisma to zero, no. <laughs> no, with, with, your, with your wicked mind powers, yeah. <laughs> it's just the effect of no the he, he, <laughs> yeah. he was just like that when I met him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so we need to sort out, uh, Dr. Jones and Stipe training. Stipe can train, um, at half cost, because he has a home temple he can be trained at. Uh, the major is not part of a, a, a fighter's guild or anything like that, so um, he can get really training, really. but he uh, will need to pay full price. Yeah. And yes, you do have a bunch of money and jewellery uh, and stuff. I guess you can decide. Uh, what you've brought back from the North Lloyd is on the XP documents. Um, yes. But yeah. Uh, and you did have some 
yeah, you didn't. You only had very much cash left over from the previous round because you leveled, you trained a couple of people then. You also did get all that stuff off those long fang mercenaries, like a gold pendant that was worth eleven hundred XP. Mm. Instance, a um, hundred gold pieces, an engraved and jeweled axe, uh, which yeah, I think you could check some of the stuff for magic. Amber potion, red potion. So you have you have. I mean, probably you have enough to both train, basically. Um, yeah. I'm just quickly reminding myself of the training cost for, well, any characters, because I don't actually know them. Yeah, you got 500 gold for uh, helping the, the lovers. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the main thing is to make your int or whiz checks. Uh, we can we can probably work the cost uh, out our off stream, so we won't worry about that, but just okay. get your int or whiz checks for those two characters. Mm. Well, Int is the better of the two for me, so... Good. That's... So, I'm yep, roll that's fail. trying to roll under Wiz, am I? Or over Wiz? Yeah, equal or under for Stipe, I guess, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, what was your Int, uh, Major? Yep. My Int is 12, so that's a fail. So that's a fail. You're now, your Int is now 13 for this purpose. You train for an additional week. Roll again. Okay. Okay. Yep. So yeah, the major levels up uh, with I don't know if gift get extra hit points per level or anything, but uh, obviously you'll uh, get or your any not gift extra bonuses. Not hit points per level, but I do have ridiculous constitution, so that's quite nice. Anyway, you'll get extra hit points from that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Good. Well, that's what the team needs. And mm -hmm. Tom. So yeah, um, roll d twenty. I I rolled nine and my whiz is sixteen. So. Great. We need to reduce dice cam sponsored by Buddy. Yeah, we, we do. Need I need to clean my desk. <laughs> yeah, we need. We need to. We need to uh, get the. Oh, hey, Daniel. Is Daniel? Is Dragon's Dogma out to, tonight? Today? Uh, I did uh, see a video about it a while ago. I I'm, I will not be playing it. Obviously, it looks bad. It was good, but you know, no video games. But um, yeah. I thought it was already out, to be honest. Is that not a game that's been out for a while? Or am I thinking of something else? It's Dragon's Dogma 2. The new one, okay, right, I see. <laughs> what, well, Border's Gate? Oh, I thought that came out in 1999. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so uh, those guys are training. Stipe for two weeks. And the Major for three. Just see if I can make an open if it'll let me. May as well just roll my HP on stream now. And, yep. ooh, nine! Plus my con bonus, mm. that's another 12 hit points. Ooh. The, the Major is uh, is dangerous. Uh, not He can hit stuff hard, and now he can actually soak multiple hits. Yeah. It was weird, actually, given that you had like 10 hit points or whatever, that, yeah, you just seem to get reduced to nothing constantly. Oh, I only had seven hit points before. I was just very... Oh, you rolled badly, had you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Because yeah, the Major had been knocked out repeatedly and technically killed. Yeah, I now have much scarier hit points, say, and twice, and a, not twice the Fakor, but my Fakor range is twice as big as it... I know what I mean. Yes, Never mind. yes, your, your bonus, well, I was going to say your bonus, your class-based bonus has gone from zero to one. Yes. Um, and I don't know what your strength is. It, uh, what's major strength? My strength is 16, so that's... Just plus damage zero, point. plus one damage. Yeah. I Wait. don't believe okay. I get anything else, so yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, in in terms of the catacomb, uh, we'll, I'll just re-describe it because uh, Tom and Andrew were not with us last time. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is, you, you went into the back corridor of the Man of War, um, and... I guess we'll have a Zethra on watch uh, with, I don't know, maybe with Vil's dog, Vil, Vil can decide. Uh, but yes, uh, upstairs. But yeah, 20 feet down, you, you roped your way down through a trap door, um, which had been kind of, yeah, uh, obviously covered by bo by chests and boxes. But this, in some rebuilds, this entire back corridor had been walled up. Um, but yeah, you uh, climb down and there's one sepulchre on a raised stone dais and three at ground level. One of the ground level ones was empty, hadn't been used. Uh, you saw fainted, faded painted scenes on the walls, uh, which you hadn't inspected. And you'd gone through a breach in the wall beyond the dais. And uh, there was pale white in this further room, pale white bioluminescent lichen on top of soft earth. 
And at ground level in one corner was the top of a blue metal door, barely visible. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Which you'd looked at a bit and then just left. You're like, well, we can't do very much. You know, you're like, we're not going to do anything about it right now. Um, not that you can, but uh, yeah. Uh, you had opened the dire sepulchre and in uh, some, yeah, it was double trapped. It had two crossbows firing um, when you first opened the, the kind of main bit uh, on a, and then the, there was an inner lead casket which you breached and gas came out and you got um, a gold medallion and some platinum and a lead tube uh, which had a treasure map in it. And we lost a permanent point of Gone, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, it could be a really good treasure map. And then you'd opened one of the sepulchres. That that one, the dire sepulchre, had a lavishly dressed man, recumbent, apparently praying, but within his hands were lots of stone coins. Uh, you've opened the figure of an old woman in a kimono, as in the open sepulchre was that. The other one has a young woman in brocaded dress. Uh, the seals in this one were broken, and there is a nest of giant rats. There's a hole in the bottom, um, and the nest has a bunch of stuff in it. Respect what you can see. Uh, but now there are giant rats swarming everywhere. And they're going to attack you. So I guess, uh, yeah, Will, uh, Dr. Doctor Jones and uh, Tom the Ranger, Blank the Ranger, uh, consider yourself present. Oh, I, I've got a name now. I'm Sam Hambat. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and uh, yeah, Tom Thumb, um, I guess you want to, let's get some stressful music on. Uh, we're going to claim your actions. Uh, I will shoot it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. I was uh, sort of finishing rolling the character while I'm doing that. Is there anyone I can shoot with the bow? I'm. I'm kind of getting the hell out of melee. But you have a bow. Uh, you're technically not engaged in melee yet, but you can be. As in, you've pushed the top off the uh, the thing and seen some rats, and they're about to attack. So. You know, uh, yeah. If it's too late to put the lid back on, <laughs> how many rats? Um, a number. No, not a couple. That's I'd a be quite couple. keen for somebody else to take the front line in this fight, having already swallowed a lot of poison. I think everyone's <laughs> going to say that in this party. Yeah, yeah but somebody else. Oh. Right. If I can, I, I should, probably should have cast this before we, you know, started opening things. But if I can cast armor. I'll be happy to, to you know. So, uh, Will Spears retreating, and what's uh, is speed one? I assume so. I'll have to. Yeah, it's a first level spell, sir. So. Uh, Very good AC, but one hit pretty much kills me, so. Yeah, but I, I also have four hit points, and I guess after I cast armor, I'll be. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a, well, I'm a, I'm a wizard thief. Yeah, I'm a regular thief. I have two hit points. Well, I'm not good with dice. <laughs> <laughs> you are good at dice. Um, I'll hit one of the rats with my shimitar and I'll go in the front. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll, be, I'll be down to AC2 after I cast armor, so I'll be happy to, you know... Come you back in. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I have two mantis-like arm blades, and I can attack with them as if I had the egg- amber dexterity proficiency, which yeah. I believe is minus one, minus three, respectively. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's normally minus two, minus four, isn't it, for your wielding? I don't remember. Yeah. What no, ambidexterity. Is. Yeah, yeah. I thought ambidexterity was better than that. Okay, yeah. I might... That's what I've got written on my sheet. I haven't, I didn't, I haven't looked it up. Minus one, minus three is better than the base, at least. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just going to assume I'm... it is this for now, and if I'm wrong, I'll... And if it is um, better, then that's... I'll suffer. In any case, okay. I'm going to charge like, That means they are. Well. That means they are arm. They are weapons, in which case, as opposed to naturals. So I count them as going at three and six. Okay. Um, uh, what's the speed of a skimitar? Shimitar. Um, the skimitar is speed five. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Vil. Sorry, I was messing around with my sheet. How many rats have scurried out? We have not been given a precise number, but it is more than two. Closer to a dozen than two. Okay. Uh. 
I'll... Well, the dog should come down, but I'm going to cast sleep. <coughs> yeah. Okay, you want There's your... Too, I mean, we're, if, if you want the dog to have been down, this was a discussion last time, but then you had to go, obviously. Uh, the dog can go, can do natural attack three. Yeah, well, I was then, actually had to leave before you guys even entered this castle yeah. area, so... I wasn't here for any of this. Um, yeah, I'll cast sleep. I'll bring the dog down. Let's, yeah, there's too many things. Okay. Yeah, we'll assume you're down then. Sam? Uh, oh, so sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm Sam. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, so I'm shooting a bow. Oh. I will roll it. Okay. Uh, Alex has posted what ambidexterity means in the Discord chat. I'm full of cold and don't understand what I'm reading. Uh, I think I it means think... no penalty for two weapon fighting. Yeah, I think rangers get that as well. Okay. Rangers get something slightly different, um, which is the, the 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 two weapon fighting style, or a, a style specialization for two weapon fighting, which is lesser penalty. Um, right. Specialization takes it down to zero minus two penalty. Right. Uh, so Amadex actually doesn't give you two attacks around, it just means if you lose these one hand or drop a weapon that hand. Yeah, yeah, Amadex already doesn't. But you can right. still so it doesn't... Two weapon fight. I'm just very so, yeah. so, Masses can take the, um, the two weapon fight too. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, what, Sam, what was Sam doing, Tom? Uh, shooting a rat with a bow. Okay, is that a longbow? Yeah, longbow, rolled a 14. Okay, well, we'll roll initiative first. Oh, uh, Alex. Yes. Roll d 10. Do I have to? Mm hmm. Uh, oh, I was good about to roll it in the Discord, that would be bad. Five. Five. Um, okay. Uh, I've got 10 rats. Um, well, assume yeah, th th thumb and Wills, um, and I guess. Oh, yeah, no, they'd be the probably the ones at the front. Zeta Z Z as well, but Jamie is uh, strategically not not been here. Um, so I'll have some rats swarm out. And uh, Alex, what is uh, is armor speed one? Uh, armor has a casting time of one round. Okay, wait, I may may get to interrupt you. Um, yes. Yes. Okay, so I will have, let's have uh, three gigantic rats uh, attack Thumb. Mm. Uh, that's not very good. Um, my Thacko is 20, so my best is AC 9. I think I missed uh, it. Yeah, I'm pretty safe. I've got AC 4. Um, let's have three... Um, swarm and uh, go for the dock. This is a hard for the target. Yep, I do. I do hit the dock. I think I could take out Andrew's character here. Uh, what? AC? Did you hit? Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, and yet, I, Andrew, 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 you are unconscious. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do two damage. That's two two damage on a D three. Give us their backup character. You can no. you can roll backup for your backup character. character. You can roll for the dog. The one B Um. Well, he he's he's about to sleep, people, isn't he? Um. I have three people uh, attack you, Alex. Attack Wilson. Three people, rats. Oh no! Yep, 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 yep. Great. I don't think I can knock you out though, because I'm only rolling a D3. Oh, well, it's only a D3. One yes. damage. Okay. Okay. Um, I think both of you. Do you want to both check if you get a random disease? Roll a D100. Do you want to? Yeah, I'd you have not. To. <laughs> And Sam, I have one. Uh, one very high. Here. That's very high. Uh, oh, Sam, I think I hit you. I hit AC one. Why are these rats so good? I do two damage to the dwarf fighter. 
191, so that's probably bad. Okay. No, neither of you get a disease. Neither oh. of you get a disease. Okay, I mean, I so, am dying, so, you know. No, you're not. You're on zero, so you're on. No, I'm not on zero. Just... I, I took four you had damage. Two hit. You, had... you took two damage. I said, it's a D3. Oh, okay. I, I was reading the, the D4 or less than... Oh, that's a no, D6. No, I rolled a D6. I rolled four. I got two okay, on it. Therefore, I, I got two. Sorry, I'm... I, I'm just like, I want my character to die. Sorry, I, as I say, I'm full of cold. I don't really know what's yeah. going on in general today. No, that's fine. Um, okay. So, yeah. Phil, you... Uh, sorry, Will you lose armor. Um, yeah. Ooh. Sorry. My mistake here. Phil should have rolled his sleep dice first, shouldn't he? Ooh. We will randomize. There'll be a quantum state here. We'll randomize who took, uh, which ones go to sleep. How, roll your hit dice for how many go to sleep. Five. That's quite good. Mm. That's hot. Um, could be something quite funny about this. <laughs> yeah. uh, Yeah, let's just double check something. I hope these are like half hit dice creatures and we just got like 10. Yeah, you just... <laughs> Is it Dr. Jones, you're not dead. They all fall asleep. I just caught you in the sleep and you fell, you fell asleep, that's all. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, I was already uh, asleep, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, all the, all the rats are asleep before they attack you. Um, oh, before the attack. Yeah, that, oh, okay. that went it. Oh no, I say that no, um, no, no. It took you out, and then they all fall asleep. That was the way it happened. That is the correct way. Happened. You happen. They, they went at five. They all fell asleep at six. Could we like so, have a second where you don't immediately quit my character and then take me out for <laughs> all of it? <laughs> so yeah, you fall asleep. They all fall asleep, and now I guess you guys can just uh, auto hit a bunch of them. I mean, how many? But they're, they're not. Are they all asleep? I thought there were more. There's ten. Yeah, no. Five hit dice. They're half hit die creature. Oh, really? They've literally all gone to sleep. Uh, the dog, I guess, will eat one first. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it I will automatically hit so the dog can roll damage. Is is basically it. <laughs> Thank you for you, your support. You do still roll damage, but you automatically hit because they are sleep or they are asleep or held. So. Each Andrew, roll, like, roll. roll uh, the what's it? Is it? <laughs> Is it damage for the dog 2d4? Yeah, like that. Eight damage, yes, you, you kill my, my rat with one hit point. <laughs> um, um, and then... If I'm uh, wounded. Some. Uh, you can hear noise, not the others. Um, Wait. Some. I can hear noise. No, some roll your scimitar damage. You automatically hit a rat. Scimitar damage. I forgot my damages. I'm not really paying attention. Give me a second. D8. Yeah. I've never actually hit anything before, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I never know. It isn't well. It's because I play different characters in different games. Uh, five damage. That should kill a rat unless it's like a. Yeah, like a it's got rat. it's got D4. It's got D4. So yeah, that will be. Uh, yeah, I was going to say you've got five rounds to kill them off. So. Um, yeah, Sam, I guess you can, uh, yeah, uh, shoot your longbow, just, uh, you go up to their heads and fire us into their heads, so roll longbow damage times two. That's you. That's you, Tom. Uh, okay, yay, I guess. Uh. Five damage. That will, yeah, also as he kills one, uh, fire again, uh, yeah, you go and headshot the next one. He's only got two hit points. There's something like disturbingly mob execution like about this. Yeah, <laughs> just like point the arrow down, fire it through the head, pull it out again, fire it at the next one. Yeah, yeah, just you. Uh, <laughs> we could, yeah. you know, put them in a, in, in a barrel and throw them off the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, roll again, Tom. Roll your second damage. Four. Four, that will kill that one. So you've killed four of them. 
Um, okay, do you want to roll? Just do whatever attacks you want on the next round, unless you're the doc, in which case you are also asleep. If anyone wants to coup de gras the doc, they're allowed to. <laughs> Don't um, I mean, he does look disgusting, but... Hmm. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is out in the GMT here. Um, yeah, so uh, just roll whatever damage you would use. So, Phil, you can use a hand weapon if you want, or do nothing. The dog can attack. Uh, yeah, I have Will's a dagger. Can, Will's can do what you want. I can presumably just use two daggers and just start stabbing. Uh, yes. Yeah. As long as you're on different targets, if you think about it like that. What I mean is uh, that if you d fail to kill one, it will wake up and will no longer be a free hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you want. I'm not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. I, I guess well, I can okay. do the first, and then if that misses, yeah. you know, if that doesn't kill. Uh, Vil kills one, and the dog kills one. So I make that six dead. Um, yeah, Sam and Thumb and Will's. I, I have, 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 have a bow as well, which is better damage than a dagger, so I can't well, damage. Yeah. Damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it turns out you can do you can roll eight damage a time against D4 hit point creatures. Yeah, but only once against good creatures. Yeah, I guess I used used a bow instead of a dagger. Uh, so bow shot. Five. Uh, five damage will kill one. So that is eight. I think. Um and Simon, you'll get a second attack. So, some will get a second attack. Yeah. Well, two. this is a favourable round. So, you okay, so, an eight and a two. I got a... Uh, yeah. you kill, so, Will, you killed yours, because it had one hit point. <laughs> so, that's nine. And then, let's see... Ah, um, you, yes, you just kill yours, Thumb, so it had two hit points. Super. Cool. And then I guess uh, Sam Hambat, do you want to try to finish off the last one with your your bow and your execution style shooting? Two. Ooh, maybe Ooh. I can... maybe I get to wake one up and attack you, and then ooh, I no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no fun. Uh, so, yeah, hey, in terms of bonus XP, Thumb and Sam just got, you know, three giant rats each, whatever. And Phil got his slep. Cool. Okay. Well, th this dramatic music was very, uh... Jinxed it, uh, You know, very, in very inappropriate in the end, wasn't it? I mean, it was briefly appropriate as I took out one of your characters. What's that yeah. music playing? Oh, I've got it muted. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Is... Oh. <laughs> The fact it just stops it. like that was was perfect. Like, oh, <laughs> the drama is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get back on existential dread then. Well, does someone want to get the smelling salts out for me? Or? Well, um, that's that's all I've got, guys. So Vil just uh, salutes and exits the the catacombs. I've cast my sleep for the day. I've got nothing you, else. You, you got a dog. At this point, you're the yeah, far the more valuable part of your team hangs out and yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I drift, guys, I that gone. Yeah, I drift to the back of the party and stay there for the rest yeah. of the session. The dog is not yeah. my character. You can I mean, do useful things yeah. like help us solve the puzzle about this door in the middle of the room. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, inside this sepulchre. There is, there's like a nest, like a lovely little rat nest, uh, well constructed, good engineering. Uh, Sam hand back the dwarf notes, and uh, it's got, it's made out of old bones. It's got a mass of threads that shine and glitter. Like it's like they're like cloth threads, but they're shining and glittering. And uh, you see stuck in one side, like just kind of built into the side, uh, around bones and fluff. Um, and fur and thread, there is a dagger with a decorated hilt. Cool. That is what is in this now empty sepulchre, because you've just slaughtered these poor rats who are just defending their home. 
Can it be extracted without sort of like touching the material around it, or do we have to find out if that's poisonous? Um, it'd probably be difficult to take out one thing without the other bits, but I mean, you can give it a go. Okay. If you want. Um, can I use my sword to cut through the scum around? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'd like to do that. Um, I'd like to trigger the trap with my sword rather than my face. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, no, 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 no trap triggers as far as you can tell. Oh, good. Maybe a trap triggers. Um, okay. Yes. So yeah, there is this silvery thread that which you've now kind of cut part out. You've got bones and fluff, and you've got uh, the dagger is loose, and you can kind of get its handle if you want. Um, yeah, it is an an unrusted uh, dagger. It's a small dagger, so it's a um, relatively. Uh, I guess, relatively small, uh, with the hilt is show in design. Uh, theoretically, like as a, well not theoretically, um, as part of my kit, I have a 3% chance per level of identifying the basic function of a magic item. Mm -hmm. Can I have a look at this dagger? Yeah, I'll hand it to you. Are you not still unconscious? That's yeah, all. we haven't picked him up yet. I picked up the treasure first, because obviously more Okay. Important. Yeah. Just put the chat yeah. Take me awake, but Phil's trying to wake you up. He's just still there, yeah. bleeding out. What can we do to to heal him? What have we got? I think you can drag the praying mantis home. Oh, yeah. None of um, you's made. A, none of you's made a priest. You've got one priest in the party, and he's yeah. training. Ironically, I have lots of herbs to make healing to make sort of healing things with. I don't actually have yeah. any stuff left. I can tip some yeah. water over his face. Anyone got is anyone, any car is anyone uh, carrying a healing potion? Yeah, of course not. We don't have that kind of thing. <laughs> you, I think you did have one, but you used it, didn't you? You got one off the, um, the yeah, long fang guys that used it. Yeah, yeah. Which was good, because it got him out of his level. So. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure we actually got any potions on the Nautiloids. So. We got that. Oh, no, you did get, you got a swirling red... Yeah. You got a, a swirling red and white potion, and yeah. you got Wasn't there a, rainbow? Um, a canister rainbow of weird smoke. smoke. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you, you did get a potion plus something else of some form. So yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Depends uh, what you want to do. He's not. He's not bleeding out. The does. dog. He's mumbling in his in his kind of unconscious state. He's mumbling. If I was awake, I could make healing potions and identify your magic items. Can right, I right, slap right, right. him until he comes around? How big is yeah, it? Zotchil, Zotchil, whatever he is. How big is he? Uh, I have, to, I you have, have to my height. You have height and weight generation in the complete I am 5 guide. 11. And I'm apparently 17 out of 156 years old, so that's nice. Uh, do you have a weight? Oh. Uh, the doctor graduated early, I guess. I don't know what that is in normal measurements. How many pounds? 164. Um, so it is uh, 12. Stone. Stone, yeah. no, it's, uh, yeah, it's 11 and a half. 11 and a half yeah. Oh, so no normal human weight. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. You know, yeah. comparable. Um, yeah, it's a super middleweight. Yeah, we can, we can carry you out. We just have to worry yeah. about not being stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as you drag him, he keeps flopping and like cutting someone's arm off, and uh, you will wish you had the ambidexterity feet. I'm it's, meant to be the support personnel. Why did you all run to stand behind me? It's, you look terrifying. <laughs> you know, just some mad creation of Geiger. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, there is visibly uh, there is one more uh, sepulchre here, and there is the weird, mostly covered door. I will check the last sepulchre for traps. Yeah. Because that's worked so well. Da so da far. Daniel observes in the comments that he weighs the same as a Zix chill. <laughs> nice. I wish I You did. also have lethal arm blades which you wield ambidexter <laughs> ambidextrously or. I definitely or not. wish I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, roll your. No, that you don't. You don't find <laughs> Will did eventually find like successfully find traps twice on stuff that wasn't trapped. Last time. Uh, would somebody else like to uh, 
to open it. No, I mean, in fact, no, I keep saying this because I keep I keep playing as Alex is smart. But Wilsp, Wilsp has four wisdom, so Wilsp will just try and open it. You didn't find any traps, that means there's none there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, actually, I should listen to it, see yeah. if there's, you know, more yeah. rats in this one. Hear noise, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's my hear noise? Uh, worse. Well, you can still try. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep rolling really high on these D100 rolls. Yeah. I'm really low. I'm really low on everything else, yeah. You do not hear anything. Really? What's your move clap? Uh, 40% on find remove and... You're better than me at it. Um... I'm, I'm like actually a really good rogue because my, my, my dex is 18. Oh yeah. And I'm a gnome. Uh... And I'm naked. Well, I'm not naked, but I'm not wearing armor, you know. I just stood here in, in my, 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 like. Oh, yeah, no armor room. bonuses, which like plus five to all the physical things. Just wearing a pajamas. Uh, yeah. Doesn't uh, actually yeah. With, with open locks and fire remove traps, but everything else except the tech noise and read language yeah. helps. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, I guess I'll open it. Uh, you are, I expect, unable to open it. What's your strength? Uh, my strength is 10. You are unable to open it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyone, anyone else want to try to open it? He's got the high strength. Yeah, someone, someone, someone give me a hand. I don't think it's locked. Yeah, where's, where's, where's that crowbar gone? <laughs> you, can ha you can have the Major's crowbar. I expect that as team equipment if you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, though it does not appear to be locked, um, it uh, just does not move. Can we... Come on, lads. Get some Can welly. someone push me outside before you open that? No. I drive well, the dock outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there are more lads, I don't want them eating my unconscious body. Yeah? Someone, no. please... Help us. <laughs> I... All right, all right. I, Come on. Uh, have, yeah, Sam have... will help. Again, well, what, what are the what are Sam and what are Sam and Thumb's strengths respectively? Thirteen. What's mine? Mine is sixteen. I was going to say you're quite strong. You're not strong enough to move this. What about together? When our powers are combined. Yeah, we all just all just heave on the crowbar. We turn into a big version of our <laughs> Everyone jumps. Everyone, I, I once did uh, tip over and then shuffle around uh, like a. Uh, in fact, um, Tom, you've seen it. My, you know the you know the uh, blue woodshed at the uh, allotment, um, oh, yeah. with two adults moving it, and then my son jumping on a spade to be like Archimedes' lever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, it works, as that was like the vital thing to like just shift it. Uh, it's actually <laughs> really yeah. hard. Uh, Will, Will, Will Spiss is, is screaming pivot. <laughs> it's full. Pivot. Pivot. <sighs> um, yes. Uh, so, yeah, you are um, in ju yeah, just trying to lift it open. Um, the three of you are not able to do that. Hmm. Incredible. We need the other one. We need more hands. Get back here, Elfling. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam's so got bored and is ceasing to try. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's teamwork. If we all work together, it's, clearly it'll, it'll so work. it does just look like a lump of blue metal door, right? Not, not, not the metal. This is the, the last of the, the caskets. Oh, it's one of those last of the caskets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this okay. is surmounted oh, by a woman, a young woman, lying down wearing a brocaded dress. Shouldn't we leave her sarcophagus alone? What Money. are we down here for? Pressure. Money. We're here for loot. We're, we're here Plunder. to rob. We loot. came here to rob oh. this place. So yeah. rob it we shall. Can um, we rob it? Exactly. <laughs> um, shouldn't, we, shouldn't we try and take care of the doctor first? I mean, he's not going to die. die anymore. <laughs> yeah. no, no, he, like... he seems like he's dying now. I can't find a pulse. But uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> not sure if he has pulse. Wait, he, ah. he's, got, he's got item, right? Rather than yeah. skin. Yeah, he'll yeah. I don't, You know. 
Yeah. Is he I, the I, kind I, of animal I, I might know about? Work. Um, he he's a giant insect. So, if you know about insects, he resembles a giant insect. I don't think you actually know about Zix, though. Mm. Unless he's your favourite enemy. No. I don't have one of those yet. I don't think. No. You know, I've seen ants and things like that. I know about them. Yeah. What does my yeah, knowledge you know of ants tell like. me about yeah, his state like at ant. present? I mean, it, he like he doesn't look all squished, so maybe he's okay. I I expect that there. Yeah, in terms of there still be circulatory stuff going on because insects do have a circulatory system, so. You'll probably be able to recognize that he's not dead. Bugman, fine. Who move? Yeah. <laughs> Do something else. All four of us will get this chest open. Right, I'll push from this side and you pull from that side. And we'll get If we push it. from opposite sides at the same time, we'll cancel each other out. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> I'm pushing. I'll, pu I'll push from this side and you pull from that side. Yeah. Um, Sam is, Sam only has seven in. Those instructions are quite complex for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. You can all push and pull. It does not move. Hmm. Has anybody got a hammer? It's sealed. Can I check around? The, My the weapons edge? are two clubs, like so I can just start banging on like, it. Um... Yeah, I guess we did. We did have chisels, didn't we, to break down the wall before. Yeah, we, we just knock, knock and see um, if it opens. Maybe the interior, maybe the octagon will come out. Ha Sam oh, knocks on any, the um, sarcophagus beach, with his club. Beach. What are you uh, saying? Is yeah. there any evidence of like glue or something around the edge or something that seals the top to the rest of it? Um, not apparently. So it's just really heavy. It's or magic. It doesn't. It it doesn't necessarily seem. Um, like it's not massive. It could be very dense. Well, how does it compare? How does it compare to the other sarcophagi? Like, it the seems like the one same one. as the other two. I think, yeah. Kind of like just so borrow one of those clubs and just kind of tap it and see if it sounds hollow. Yes, oh, you, you can. can. Maybe the whole thing is just a solid. Well, like I'm a, wondering. Fake sarcophagus. I'm wondering if it's related to the 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 blue metal thing and perhaps it's an entrance to something like a hidden door um like there's something we have to do to get it to open related to that blue patch perhaps the blue uh yeah metal. uh no, yeah knock on it see see what it sounds like sam knocks on it with yeah. a club tap 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 does it sound hollow? If something it knocks sounds back, um, if something knocks back, I, I run away. <laughs> uh, Owen. Hmm. Yeah, my next idea would be to inspect the the sarcophagus top again for more details. Maybe there's clues in the carving. Yeah, that's a good idea. It definitely, it definitely isn't, because yeah, if you guys could open the other ones easily, this one isn't easy. There's something yeah. weird. Something is afoot. What happened there? It, 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 it was then saying, do you want to join the voice? Or... <laughs> Very confusing. Um, yes. So, sorry, I was saying that um, it's not, it doesn't appear to be glued. It sounds like you'd expect a stone casket to sound. Sounds hollowish. Hmm. Can we find the edge where the lid joins? Yeah, yeah, that's easy enough to identify. Yeah. And um, is there anything to observe? Does it look like it's been moved or never moved? Is there little bits it... of grit and sand inside, like the very edge of it? No, it's, it seems like very flush. That it very seems. Nice. Yeah, like it, like so. It's not obviously been moved loads. Um, your inspection showed up no sign of glue around that side, like around the edges. So, is it suckered on? Is it like um, there's pressure inside, and when you lift it off, it's like opening a jam jar? Is that the issue? Has it been vacuum sealed? 
We got no way of knowing unless we chiseled a crack yeah. in the side yeah. or something. Yeah, oh, like the pot when we get it over. <laughs> Just imagining it's like so. So back in the day, they used to like uh, put it in canning machines. Like they put great <laughs> like tombs in canning machines. You'd expect the opposite uh, issue, really, if it has a body inside. Can we inspect the top again? Is there anything that stands out besides just the carving of the woman? Is there some details? Um, she had the, so the brocade is carved on. Uh, she's a, a young woman. She has jewelry carved on as well. Are there any bits missing from the jewelry? No. Any indication of like like what kind of human is she because the the old woman was show is she anything like probably <laughs> few she resemble show yeah um yeah the, uh, this uh woman um i mean i guess from, from i mean uh, alas he's not here to you know our resident spiralian were here i would say like the the native human stock of of the area so sort of spiralian or something um yeah You'd, you'd if say I touch, if I, I touch any of the carved like pieces details on the top they're all just solid stone there's nothing yeah if you press around and push and check they appear to be solid stone or they feel like solid stone do you guys want to try and chisel a little opening yeah, in there's the nothing, something? You can, nothing uh, around in. coming out from the bottom can we find can we see the bottom of the coffin is this, what's it sitting on top of standing on top of uh, it is um set into the kind of the stone and and dust of the floor and there's no markings no sort of like um lines or any sort of like cabling or anything coming out from underneath the bottom of it yeah just check go, going around the sides to see if there is like trap cables you know yeah no, you do not find one um it's yeah it's you know it's a big metal uh, sorry big stone box that has been set down probably dug slightly into the uh the um top thin topsoil and into the bedrock and then left there which is kind of what you'd expect i guess for that kind of doom yeah, yeah. i get the feeling it might be magically sealed like that's hard to tell that's hard to prove about detect magic which i don't have prepared yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah information spells are valuable yeah we discussed this recently i think in the other section. yeah it's kind of, they're kind of a, a privilege you don't get at level one though is it worth tapping yeah. it with the uh, magical knife Seeing if that does anything. Yeah, you can tap with a magical knife. Nothing appears to happen. Alex, be a specialist diviner. What you want to be, and then you can. Yeah, have a second spell. Um, no, it, no effect with a magical knife. Oh, okay. Mm. We I know think knife's magical at least. We give up on this and maybe come back. Um, so I think there's only two more things really worth looking at, which is maybe check the walls to see if there's a hidden door, and further investigation of the blue bit. The special the door. door. The blue door. Well, the, the blue maybe trap door, maybe something else. Yeah, if you want to go back into that room. Um, <laughs> leaving uh, uh, leaving the dock propped up against the sealed tomb. Yeah, yeah. Put, we'll him, in the, tomb put, put him in the unused tomb. Put him in the unused tomb. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. We'll lie him in the yeah. tomb. But yeah, then you can head head into the next room um, and look at there's the blue metal door or something. Like it's, you see, like it's, it seems like the top of a door and you scrape it away and it seems to continue down. Um, I think that's the point. Was it like near the bottom, near the ground on the floor or was it on the floor? Um, it was. So it was on the floor in terms of at floor level, you could just see a, a, a few inches, five inches of this blue metal uh, in a rectangle coming above the ground. And you dug down and it seemed to continue down. What was the floor in here made of? Uh, so in the uh, tomb area, uh, thin topsoil and then bedrock. In this, in the lichen room with the blue metal, it's softer and seems deeper. Well, let's get digging. Yeah, I'm up for that. Uh, you, you use the doctor as a shovel. I don't think you'd get the right kind of leverage. <laughs> I have joints. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, that, that's fine, because uh, you, you, ca you can't have garden tools that can have uh, hinged things on them. So. I mean, I have a buckler, so I can use the edge of my buckler for scraping with. Um, yeah. And I also have a grappling hook, so I could use the edge yep. of the grappling hook. Oh, that's the other thing. I guess this probably wouldn't work. We could end up sticking the, side, the points of my grappling hook into that um, coffin's if they could get any traction on it and pulling, I suppose. But I guess that wouldn't help much more on the crowbar, so probably not that well. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, you wouldn't probably exert much more force. Um, and yeah, all you're doing with, with the crowbar, all you're doing was attempting to lift it. You weren't, as you say, you weren't chiseling or anything, were you? So, oh, yeah. Also, we got down here by using my grappling hook and rope, I think, anyway. Yeah, I think you discovered you had one rope, which was probably yours. So. Yes, it's my rope, yeah. <laughs> so that's, um, that's Does anyone else, did, uh, did the doctor or Sam, do they have rope? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't have any rope. I spent all my money on weapons and armor. I have a needle yep. thread. <laughs> I feel like that you won't can make hold a very, very, very thin rope that doesn't hold much. Um, yep, yeah, great. Uh, so, uh, yes, I guess. Um, you, you're digging? Is that the idea? You're just going to yeah. dig, dig, yeah. dig, dig? Okay. Dig around a bit. Um, yeah. Diggy, diggy hole. Yep. Uh, Shri, uh, Andrew, roll a d10 for time passing. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Can I leave? Um, uh, yep. Okay, yeah, you, you seem to go undetected as you dig down. Um, uh, presumably, are you because obviously there's a whole room. Presumably, you're digging nearer the door. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you'll dig down and uh, reveal um, a, a a metal uh, a metal door, um, which has an appears to be a door. Uh, it is uh, a yeah blue metal. Um, Apparently cast in one piece, set into the rock, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it has some sort of mechanism in the middle, like as in like a handle mechanism. It's the only thing that does not seem cast into these main pieces, some sort of mechanism, which does include a hole and it includes something you could hold on to, you know, like a a uh, a a handle of some kind. So yeah, cough, what do you think? Cough. Is it a hole? Like a keyhole? Yeah, it's a, a small hole. In the centre there is something that looks a bit like a handle, and inside that handle, like, say you net set into it, there is a kind of hole, which I guess is a bit like a keyhole, in terms of the, it doesn't look like a, you know, common commonly used Bralian lock. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's, it's much more fine and has, like, it's kind of, it looks like almost like a Morse code thing, but it's all joined together. Um, Where is the hole in relation to the handle? Like inside. So the hand, yeah. the handle's like a round handle thing. You know, like, you're like a round door handle. Rather than oh, a, rather than a pull handle, it's like a, yeah, it's like a doorknob, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so your, your hand would, in theory, go over top of the hole as you try to pull on it. How's the yeah, that's right. I got the feeling that this is... You know, if there, there should be a key related to this, and this, you know, is getting bigger and bigger, deeper and deeper. Um, well, Vils, you can just you can just uh, pick the lock, right? Well, I can certainly give it a try. I'll, I'll check it for traps first. Pick us a knife. Is it the shape of a knife? It's yeah, not the shape of a knife. That would be far too. <laughs> I, I, I personally like the idea that that thumb just uh, goes around saying, "Can I? Does this knife work?" <laughs> right. It's like an inventory yeah. puzzle in a video game. You just like going through the inventory. We're, we're playing this down, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't detect any traps. I'd like to open the lock. I'd yeah, like to unlock pick locks. It. Pick locks. <laughs> you do not succeed in picking the lock. This is this is obscene. <laughs> you have succeeded twice. It's just on stuff that wasn't trapped. But now you have. Uh, Failed, I think, six times out of eight thief checks or nine thief checks or something. 
Sam asks why you haven't picked the lock yet. <laughs> why you no pick lock? Yeah. Why no pick lock? <laughs> Do you have an answer for him, Wills? No. <laughs> I guess I'm just bad he's, at this. <laughs> he's crying. <laughs> Out of 15 D100 rolls in the two sessions I've played Wills, I've succeeded two of them. Um, Alex, in both of the last sessions I've played, um, I was in for one combat, after which I was immediately crit and taken down. Yeah, <laughs> both of them. That's just a single moment of, of things going wrong, rather than a, a 15 dice <laughs> rolls succeeding. Yeah, Andrew, for you it's more kind of like, oh no, I've been knocked out, hopefully I escape. But Alex, it's a continued humiliation. Maybe Will's not cut out to be rogue. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a rogue, I'm a tinkerer. <laughs> you know, I make things. Make what? Um... <laughs> never, never really got that far when I was, was figuring up backstory. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Backstory lame, says Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Just play. <laughs> uh, great. Okay, what are you doing, guys? Uh, I think we should leave. I think we should leave. We've got. I think this treasure map that we found that leads to uh, was it realm space? Realm space. Yeah. 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 I think that'll be where all the answers are. I think that'll be where we'll find the key to this door, and we'll have to come back and break back in here after finding the key in this in whatever dungeon is in realm space. Probably in like Agreed. forty sessions time. We need to get the doctor seen too. Yeah. We um, need to get the doctor to a doctor. I, I think that's pick also up the going doctor to be a whole carry him. Deal. I'm gonna go scout ahead and make sure that there isn't like a group of armed men waiting for us on the exit. Yep, should I make a uh, new silent check for you, I guess, is what you're asking to do. Yes. Can we take the doctor to a doctor who just happens to be Andrew's backup backup character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is wheels. your move si Alex, what's your move silently? Five. 55. Fifty-five. Okay, yeah, you, you slip forward to the door and look outside, and it does not appear there is anyone. Watch. Brilliant. I will, I will let the others know. Yep. I was going to say, Zeta is there as well and will join you as you... I mean, he can probably help drag the... Uh, I mean, yeah, I think dragging 160 pounds up a rope, as it were, is going to be irritating, but I think you can... I mean, you fit, just, yeah, hem, your rope, 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 the rope can bear that much, so I think it'll just require that you have people do their max press at the other side. Well, it's, it's the strongest here. Surely it wouldn't be that hard. You'd just tie the rope to him and then climb up the top and then pull the rope up. Oh, yeah, we're well, trying to I mean, tie it'd be like, the neck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, unless it's braced, unless it's um, actually braced against something, you're going to have to take the max press. But someone will have a max press. That's Sam is impressed to, by the it, so. um, intricacy of yeah. your plan there, Wills. Um, I, mean, I was going to say, for, for, yeah. <laughs> um, for instance, yeah, Thumb can um, press 195. So. He, he can do it. If he wants to, I'm not. I'm not saying Simon, you have to do it. You could leave the, the doctor to die. I'll carry him. Yeah. 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 Would I die? Um, he not... has carried me. Well, not this particular character, but um, mm. yeah. I have a strange him. sense that this character is. <laughs> I'm repaying this character for past deeds. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vil could not do it in his own. I. Now, one thing is, of course, you if you if you tied the rope off like to something quite strong, that would help. That would add to your like, max press in that case. Anyway, uh, not yet. Yeah, okay, and then I guess you're I guess you're relying on thumb to carry your your mate at, while pretending he's drunk, presumably home. Uh, oh man, those brandy boys! They yeah. really got us. <laughs> this was one of the options, wasn't it? You're like. Oh, should we have a phantasmal force that includes the brandy boys or something like that? I think wasn't it? We just like blame it on the brandy boys. Or oh yeah, you would let. Yeah, you you would say, oh, we just found this hole in the wall. It was those brandy boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, 
Uh, let's... Wait, do we need to cover up the hole? Because your illusion will run out. The, the, illusion's, the, the, the illusion's long gone. Uh, I don't know any covering up the hole. Did you Get leave any DNA leave evidence? Over it. Also, can they, over can it. they have corpse? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think we're probably good as long as we're not caught next to the hole. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't want to come back later and have it be resealed or sealed even more. We'll just put some police tape up and act like it's official. Yeah. What, what does that yeah. mean? We'll put, a, we'll put a sign that says under construction. Oh, where, 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 where are you getting this sign from? We'll get some paint and a piece of wood. So, well, it's, it's funny, what Phil spent all his stars and gold on was rather than equipment, was just, like, building signs. A traffic cone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know all my money was spent on the dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, the dog scent marks it with the words under construction. Brilliant. All the other dogs will know now. Yeah, no no dogs will come in here. Because they respect the law. I mean, I think Sam good. understands dog scent, so... Yeah, knows. yeah. But Owen, what about Chihuahuas? <laughs> yeah, chihu Chihuahuas are the drow of the dogs. <laughs> Hey, I'm Hasbro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've just been co compared to a Chihuahua. How do you feel? <laughs> you do feel like in this conversation with like some kind of like there'll be like some like um, mind flayer hybrid that's been like bred in vats, and then you're like, man, the Illicids are so evil. Their empire is so evil. They just I, man, and he's like, guys, guys, that's quite offensive. <laughs> right here, I was bred in their vats. Uh, Uh, what, what's uh, do, does in terms of Phil's drow side? Is it uh, like how Lothian is it? Phil's drow side? Uh, not, I don't think. Yeah, so some rogue drow worshiping Aliastri or something. That's that's yeah. definitely not how that's pronounced, Owen. All your Ali just... Aliastri. <laughs> Elastray, isn't it? Um, Elistrae. Lol. Perfect, yeah. Stygil? <laughs> it, was, it was more focused on, like, naval stuff. You know, like... Yeah. Secular concerns. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, uh, we need to travel a couple of districts to get home at night, I guess. So, uh... Sam, uh, Tom, do you want to roll your first check? D6. D10. Eight. And then coming into low town, Simon's gonna roll the second. D10? Yep. With your with your drunk Zix to your friend. Three. Yep. Yeah, you uh, you you make it back. Um and uh, uh yeah, arrive uh, are, are you going to the red house or are you doing something else? Um, do we know if Stipe will be available to, to, to be heal? You, you could go and wake him up, I guess, yeah. Yeah, 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 brilliant. I mean, yeah. presumably, like, training for spellcasters involves using some of your spell slots, right? Yeah, but if he gets an Amazon... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, once a day, anyway, it only needs to be the one hit point to wake me up, and then I can I can sort the rest of myself. I'm a real doctor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Stipe can drop off an Orizon then. Yeah. You can be on one hit point. So how does a light knock someone unconscious? Uh shock. <laughs> By, I mean it, it's they're not they're not like small. They are giant, they're like they are like mm. two feet long. Size of a dog. Size of a chihuahua. Ah, right, okay, that explains... <laughs> they're, they're actually two hours, sorry, I should have said. They're ten two hours. Oh, ah, yeah, two hours. <laughs> also known as okay, two hours. We like to kill them. Yeah, yeah. We should have kept them for food. Uh, that's what happened real quick. Does that lead to a different crystal sphere? We're not in realm space right now, are we? Yeah, you know, you're in spiral space slash brow space. It leads to realm space uh, and to the transit Koliar. Not right. on the star sail. You can't... You could, you could pay passage to go on a... 
kind of shit. I feel like we probably can't. No, we can afford that. We have money, don't we? Probably yeah. not, because you just spend some on training. But yeah, you might have some money. The yeah. issue would be then after we get to 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 realm space, you know, finding someone to take us to exactly where we want to go, um, which, which, which would cost even more money. Like, where, 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 where does the map take us in realm space? To Koliar. It's a, a planet? Yeah, it's a planet. Um, okay. It uh, is a, an, I think it's an air body. So, like, a, it's a gas giant. It's an air okay. body. Um, and uh, if you were from Toro, you would think of it as one of the Dawn Heralds. Maybe, maybe we just hang on to that for now, given that we have yes. no that way seems, to get it. That seems like something we should leave for level 2 or 3, maybe. Yeah. Or until we actually can get any kind of passage there. <laughs> I mean, maybe uh, a combination of the two. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then, okay, in that case, can uh, the, I guess, uh, B, just want to roll a d10 to get back to low town. Because you, you often the temple. <laughs> D9 plus one? <laughs> it didn't work. My trick. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that would work. You just gotta do it right. See? Yeah. Slip it, slip it by. Yeah. You would notice. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say the uh, uh, the the eight uh, is that's the seven. Um, yeah, eight, and then I was gonna say yeah, it works as seven. It does keep the maths in, doesn't it, on the roll? Uh, so yeah, no, eight, eight is fine. You can get back to the red house with uh, the the dock intact. Um, you have, I think, apart from the treasure map, I think you've earned 220 XP as a group, so you haven't earned very much. You, you earned the, uh, you killed, you got 150 from the rats as well, I think, so. Yeah. 370 plus individual XP, which is not, not nothing. Hmm. Fair. I think all in all, it? that was not a very successful, uh, <laughs> You managed to get into this thing, and then uh, you could, I guess you could have shut the door after you. But yeah, you, you managed yeah. to get into this thing, and then <laughs> fight some rats, take get hit by some traps, get a bit of treasure, and fail to do anything else. Hmm. Yeah, whatever the puzzle was, we completely missed it. I don't think it, it was solvable there. Like, I think I think it is that we need to find. The, like, clearly that is some pirate captain's grave. Yeah, but. The, why like, the, try, wild, why else would it be? The history of the Opera House, trying to figure out. Well, it wouldn't be the Opera House, it would be the history of what, what, was, what was there before. Yeah. We yeah. probably need to do some research then. Yeah. Is it possible to go around and sort of like. Is there, are there archives? Are there historical archives that we can go to? The library. Good. Can we go to the yeah. library? This is that bookshop. Yeah. That's yeah, you know, the book, you know that bookseller, don't you? Mm hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can you can amble around brawl doing stuff. The do the doctor would be walking. The doctor would be walking wounded, but uh, it might be worthwhile until the doc can recover. Okay, we have a week, right? A, a, a week of a week. Yeah. Would, yeah. would he? Would the healing proficiency affect that at all? Because it, I don't. I think it's no, um, it, uh, so healing affects would certainly affect your a HP recovery. Yes. Um, like you'd go from one to two or whatever, and with herbalism, it go up again. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I don't think it uh, changes. Your, I'll check. I don't, I don't think it changes your. It doesn't yeah. mention it in the proficiency thing, but I don't know if the walking wounded thing is a house rule or an actual thing in the rules or not. Uh, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it sort of is, the exact details are, are vague, um, 
Yeah, you, can, you can't actually use your healing proficiency in terms of you can't actively care for people. So you'll be healing one a day. Someone yeah. else might have healing. Uh, you could, but yeah, you can obviously try to treat diseases. You can try to deal with poisons with healing. Yeah. But you, yeah. Um, yeah, you're, I guess uh, you're, you're just waiting that amount of time to heal. I mean, feel free to, hey, you can have your third character in your stable if you want, if you want to roll up a character. Well, don't you only have like two hit points, so you'll be healed in two days. Okay, yeah. Well, he'll yeah, but he'll he'll, quickly, but he'll be he'll be he'll be sleeping off the damage though, like as in having been knocked out. Well, what's what else do we have to do since we can't go straight to a realm space? So our rumors, we still have the the what are they called? The fish, the space fish. Fishing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can go back to the North Lloyd. How far away we uh, They were out in some asteroid field. Um, Owen would need to show us the. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's. Uh, um, yeah, I can. I think it's on. I think it's on this uh, ring. I mean, so, yeah, that's, that's not too far. Um, yeah, but I think it's on this ring. I remember. Uh, I did ask Owen, and there are apparently space sharks. Like. As just as a thing that exists. Yeah, yeah, thing. What are they? Oh, yeah, fish, fishing, yeah. Uh, yeah, the gods' marbles look. Uh, they are spread between purple and blue rings. Yeah. Like, like how uh, days travel is that? I was trying to think what if I could rest up on the board. Basically, on the way be, there. It'll, it'll, um, it'll be like a day. A yeah, day, okay. yeah. Because you travel an AU per day spell jamming. Um, so you could do a day of recovery just lying on the boat. Hmm. Certainly, um, you can also. I'd say you've got you've got three rumors. I guess in terms of you know uh, three active things that you know you can definitely do. Um, you can go back to the catacombs. You can go back to the North storage. You can go fishing. Um, I guess you're other, you can also just decide to sail somewhere. Go go to Iron Piece. Go to spy. Go to Spiral and fight the scroll. But the scroll, great. Um, my vote is that we research if we can. Yeah. The tomb. I yeah. think fishing sounds quite dangerous. I think going back to the North Line, I'm pretty sure we mostly already cleared it out. I guess that's the what we could try and finish off the remaining mind flare, but he might have friends by now. What? My, he's dead. Oh, did he die? Oh, yeah. he's, he died. Yeah, okay. exactly. the, the, the Yago is dead. The stuff yeah. in that room, the stuff in that room is probably destroyed anyway. And yeah, we were pretty much yeah. done. Yeah, yeah I don't, yeah, I don't we, 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 we definitely weren't done. We were we were done going down, but we didn't go up. The question is, have we left it too late? Have you know? Because there's always the possibility that other people have gone to investigate now. Yeah, you're right. We should have left booby traps before we were left. I think we were that a little was... bit preoccupied at the time. That was what you looked at, just to show you your your map. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so we had. I thought we'd been up to the scout deck. I guess there was like one high bit, maybe. The, well, the scout deck was the deck, but looking at the North Lloyd, you still have like the shell, like everything above, uh, okay. kind of oh, like the castle, like type. the exterior. Yeah, yeah. I see. Um, which we didn't look in that at all. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't think we checked the whole of the cargo deck. I... The cargo deck uh, was where we of... fought the guy. Yeah, yeah you yeah. checked the whole of the cargo deck. Yeah. You, had, you, you had you had some um some some stairs you hadn't checked. You hadn't gone up these stairs. Yeah. You hadn't gone down these stairs or these stairs. I mean, if it's a week away and you'd really like to go back. It's it's not a week away, it's like a day. Again, it's a day, yeah. Uh... There's like nothing we can do where you'll be healed by the time we get back. Or right. get there. Um, I mean, I think looking for information about, you know, history of Brawl, pir history of pirates, um, yeah. you know, history of show in space. Mm. Uh, show in space! Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth researching. More rumors. Um, yeah, I guess try and look for more rumors. Just spend a few days looking for for stuff. Um, perhaps ask Jackson if he's got any lead, any more leads. 
Um, I mean, after like maybe a few days of this, we could just go fishing. Can um... Um, I, was gonna say, I? I do know, by the way, that Tom Thumb. I think because you've got. Do you say you got strength sixteen? Yeah. yeah. In that case, you've got PR. So uh, yeah, some actually can train. It, it just depends whether you have the money left. Really, you, 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 I guess you've got to start the money. Um, I think we could probably do with earning a tiny bit more money first before yeah. I um, have a go. Yeah, you didn't bring back much money from that that haul. You may or may not be in debt from the previous training lot. I'll have to work that out for you. Uh, but yeah, because you, you you basically got brought back treasure worth a hundred. 20, 20 gold in platinum, so two platinum pieces, and um, a dagger that's quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, if everyone is going to research stuff, I mean, uh, Sam is going to be pretty bad at that with low ins. Can I go and look for like an animal to tame to bring with us, like a stray dog or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this you? Yeah, like using uh, your ranger skills. Yeah. Um, like I can give it like a good reaction to me. But I don't know if I can like really? essentially get it as a companion or. But I mean, if I can just buy a dog, I assume that if I just get a dog to like me, it will essentially yeah. function like what I would buy. Yeah. Just check. Yeah, so uh, you require less time to train animals if you have animal training. Uh, you need two months to train animal to perform a general task. So a completely kind of wild animal um, who could be tamed, you could tame fairly quickly, I guess. Uh, yeah, animal empathy produces the same coming effect as animal handling. So you can calm animals. Oh, I don't need the um, efficiency for animal handling. Is that the? I think if that's, I think that's just part of your class description, isn't it? The animal empathy thing. Yeah. Let's check. Your objective both trained and untrained animals, um, having a limited degree of animal empathy. If you carefully approach or tend any natural animal, animal, you can modify the reactions per animal handling. Basically. When dealing with that, uh, you befriend domestic animals and non-hostile animals automatically. When dealing with an wild animal or an animal trained to attack, you, they roll a saving throw. And, yeah, you can impose a penalty based on the level. And... So yeah, the example is, um, yeah, like a a vicious un semi -bro semi unbroken horse. You could train it fairly quickly and make it friendly to you via that, or a wild bear, example. Yeah. So if I go around and look for like a stray dog, in particular, yeah, I, I guess like whatever other animal it might be about, but probably a stray dog yeah. is what I'm looking. for. Yeah, I'm going to hear that he's looking for a stray dog and go along with him, getting completely the wrong idea. <laughs> well, yeah, whilst you're, whilst you're limping around, like, recovering... Yeah, I think um, he's a bite Yeah. Yeah, like, the very, the very short trips you take out of the, uh, red, the red house, you're like, hey! Bugman should sleep. Looks sick. <laughs> Let's find the next victim. Oh, I'm probably a terrible patient. It's keep yeah. persisting, I'm trying, like... Um, Just slap a knife of sulfur poultice on and I'll be fight right as rain. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Can can you, uh... Can you befriend the giant space hamster? Um, I, the answer I mean, is yes, I guess, and make go adventuring with you. I mean, it's the domesticated, is isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, it, kind of? So, yeah, in that case, I'll befriend not, the giant space I'm not, hamster. I'm not, I don't you can certainly do that. I'm not, I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure how how useful it is. Um, 
I suppose it's space vegetarian. Yeah. Mind you, that doesn't mean it can't give you a hell of a bite. Um, it has it has a burrow speed. Uh, it's immune to disease. It has Thaco seventeen, so it is better than the rest of you. It's like it's like a, it is like a dog. It's like a it's like a really big dog. Two D four damage. All right, I'll befriend the hamster then. They're, they are they are brown bear sized. <laughs> They're not terribly courageous, I think, but <laughs> other than that, you can certainly. That's okay. We yeah. shouldn't be either. Uh, yeah. It feels, it feels a little bit like Americans using anything but the metric system. You know, <laughs> brown bear sized. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they're up to nine feet long. long. It will not. It will not be as large as this. I was going to say. I imagine Wilsp is uh, excited. I'm not sure how Wilsp feels about the uh, the auto gnome who occasionally comes home to the red house after doing work with another Tinkerman. But yeah, you'll find a. I mean, I'd I'd, I'd love know. to get a look at his insides. You know. Yeah. What the giant space hamster? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, you will know as a tinker gnome. You know that the uh, the general theory is that uh, giant space hamsters were um, bred, uh, were part of a breeding program to uh, to kind of create um, wild space capable ships, like to drive um, massive wheels on early gnomish ships. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Gnomes do eat space hamsters. Yeah, of course. I I look at Wills. With disgust, considering as he considers eating my new friend. Oh, I wouldn't eat this one. You know, it's better far not. Too work, far too much work to butcher them. You know, I'd just go yeah. to the butchers and get one prepared. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like I, I love giant space hamsters, steak. but I couldn't eat a whole one. Yeah. <laughs> he says, patting the space hamster. <laughs> Uh, cool. Um, yes, I was going to say, yeah, you can, uh, um, I guess, in terms of training, you can, to make it kind of able to be used as, a, typically trained animals are dogs, horses, falcons, pigeons, elephants, ferrets, and parrots, but I guess it could be a, uh, um, uh, a giant space hamster. Uh, training can work with up to three groups at any time. Uh, do you have animal training? Or just animal? You do, you do, yeah. I, well, I've got animal like training, it. handling, and law, but I don't know if I need handling. Mm. Actually, if I'm a no, you don't. You, no, you don't need handling. Um, okay. No, I'll I guess it. Uh, uh, yeah, um, it would. It would stack, I guess. Of it, stack. I'll just take it then. Yeah, uh, training for general task requires three months of uninterrupted work. Um, so I, I mean, I guess you can. But I think it's two months for you. I guess you can just start training it to be useful in, you know, as a, as a background task. To yeah, yeah. Combat and stuff. Um, it can't do anything else. I wouldn't say the interruption counts for you in the sense that, you know, you're allowed weekends off, right? You know, yeah. But it, it can't really do anything else, but then you're not planning for it to do anything else. No, not until I've trained it. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're, you're just training it to, uh, I guess, be, be, be loyal and a bit braver than the average hamster yeah. and to savage... And later on to wear some are... kind of uh, hamster armor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. So yeah, that that's uh, that is a background task. Um, yes. Uh, so Bill wants to research. Uh, let's just double check. That's because that's the other ta the other task. Whilst you are having people recover, isn't it? And I guess. And I guess you're training people, but um, they take they will take longer than the actual take for cover. So uh, that is not so much a problem. Uh, there is some. There is. What music have you got in the background, by the way, Owen? I'm hearing a lot of screams. <laughs> it's carnival music. Oh, is there a is carnival, carnival one? music? Uh, um. Then uh, let's. Well, that was the out outdoors music, like the walking out outdoors. I just didn't turn it off. Let's see if you can get an merry go around and things. Let's have a look at what kind of place it is. So, 
there is a uh, in High Town. There is a library, the Library of the Spheres, uh, which, yeah, um, open to any patron. Uh, one gold per year per patron, and you can uh, check out books and uh, three uh, three books for no longer than a month. On a patron state, 50 gold per year, but gain unlimited checkout privileges as well as access to the special collection. Um, no magical books or scrolls, but there are things about, um, to, you know, well, about everything really, but especially, uh, this is not a massive library, it's, but it's a, a few a few collections they moved here a few years ago. The, this is the Seekers of Knowledge, moved them here. Uh, so that's one place you can research. And there is a governmental place. I remember what it's called. I'm just looking down the list. Like there's the there's the kind of documents basically. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, just what yeah. I mean, if someone's willing to give uh, Vil some gold to go and check this out. How, much does, how much does he need? It takes, it takes one for normal access, 50 for kind of honor, honor, honored access with uh, uh, access to the special collections. I think paying 50 is a good idea. That's, yeah, per, per, per year, so it's, it's, it's a one-off. Oh, it's yeah. per, per year, yeah, okay, that's probably worth it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 50 gold per, per day, per day. Yeah, we should pay 50 uh, if we have party it. Or, oh. We'll probably need one library membership if we get it for whoever's checking out the books. Yeah, yeah only one. However, is it is it worth trying to find a, um, just like a, <clears throat> an actual historian or something to, you know, point us in the right direction first? Probably. Mm -hmm. um, but you know where you meet historians? At the library. Yeah, I suppose I that's true. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's places like the government buildings might have some stuff, but not necessarily stuff about, you know, old, uh, the history of the Rock of Brawl. That's not necessarily what you'd expect. Uh, yeah. So I guess, yeah, maybe the library is your best bet. Yeah, the the, the customs officers. Uh, they're, they're, yeah, there's like customs documentation, but that will not help. Yeah, cool. I assume that's what you're doing then. Yeah. Uh, okay, Bees. Uh, it's going to be a couple of D10. It's a daytime trip across town, I guess, back across to the High City, is where the library is. I think 16 Library of the Spheres is uh, probably going to be in High Town. Uh, yeah, it is. It's down on the southern end of, uh, like the, as we looked at the southern end of the river. Well, yeah, gonna uh, roll a D10 beach. Cool. And oh, Tom, roll a D10. Do, 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 do. Three. Uh, yep, so I guess you will uh, make it to uh, the library and pay your fee. We can make we can work out realizing that from cash. I'll add that onto stuff that I have to pay for because you will um, at least have enough from your latest adventure for that because you made 120 or so. Uh, yeah, so the uh, yeah the see the seekers of knowledge are one of the. Um, I guess actions or whatever uh, in or on the rock of Bar. you know a bit a bit like the um, the the yakuza or uh, the um, chain men like uh, the seekers are an organization of knowledge seekers who try to amass information it's a large base here uh, with centering on the library of the spheres and uh, they don't have a central organization but they're different chapters or schools communicate with each other and there's a council of sages uh, who are kind of the, the leaders of the chapter here. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, 
they are membership is open to any who can remain objective and who wish to learn. So this is their guild house. You basically paid for access to their guild house. You paid the extra money to be able to look at their special stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, does Phil have um, ancient or indeed or local history or anything like that? Each. No history. It's fine. Um, in that case, I guess uh, you can certainly uh, look around some book. Um, I'm just checking. Should be able to find this. So I guess you'll probably need to ask them for some help in finding, you know, the right stuff. Being able to just write books in their large collection here. So, yeah, I was going to say, paying, you, one option you have is to ask them to do it and then pay the, you know, the, the, the sage price, which is not really super, super cheap, though you could potentially negotiate something because they might have stuff they want you to do. Uh, like, a short-term employment, um, 100 gold pieces per day would be if you wanted one of them to do the research. Otherwise, you'd probably pay them um, a uh, so you know a sage a bit less to <clears throat> to point you to the right resources. Uh, yep, sure. Uh, he wants to have a uh, look around himself. Um, so in that case, uh, why don't you make? Um, a proficiency penalized uh, ancient history check while you're here. So roll, roll is going to be, I think, d20 based on int. Ancient history is int, so your int is minus one, but then it's also minus your proficiency penalty, um, which is minus five, so minus seven. Oh. Minus seven. We never have the right proficiencies, do we? Well, for this specific thing, but yeah, Bill has high int, so Bill is still going to be okay. I don't. So yeah, ro ro roll a int check at minus seven, Beach. Oh, critical nice. success. There's no such thing as a critical success, but. I was going to say that that was versus eleven in, so you had you did technically have a better than average chance of succeeding. It's you know one of the advantages of uh, high int is that even with the proficiency, I'd be minus six. Sorry, so twelve because it's minus one for the ability modifier and the minus. Good five time for all one, nonetheless. But yeah, oh, yeah. Um, my, good, yeah, indeed. Uh, so yeah, uh, you uh, yeah, I mean though though you are not expert on it and you're not able to kind of become expert just by like the crucial success or whatever does not actually mean you become an expert. You are able to find some. Um, so it's some stuff about the Bra the Rocker Brawl's history, and you can read some books about the Rocker Brawl's history. I guess that would probably be what you do with your week of, like, hanging out and waiting for people to recover. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's... Um, the current population of the, the Rock, relatively speaking, has only lived here for a small fraction of of what... Um, uh, of... of you know, what, the assumption of how long the rock has been inhabited. Um, there's, yeah, um, it's the rumours, in fact, are that the Rock of Bra, like many other places in world space, was the home of some uh, elder forerunner race uh, whose symbol was a, a three petaled flower. Um, you Irish. And, uh, yeah, uh, equally, uh, you're, there, there's some suggestion that um, uh, ex excavations below. Uh, in, into the rock surface, you know, because you are talking about like a pretty thick asteroid, have revealed artifacts of other races who you have no, who do not admit to having ever been here. So beholders and illithids, um, for instance, very very old illithid artifacts, um, some slightly newer beholder ones, and dwarven excavations. Though that uh, that may well be. Um, more like more more close in time that may well fit 
the uh, the current um, inhabitants. Uh, the pirate Brawl founded his base here a couple hundred years ago. Basically, he rediscovered this place. Um, yeah, for a, after a period where it seemed to be mostly abandoned, other than for the Elven Imperial Navy uh, visiting here for food and water, or air and water, sorry. And yeah, there, there were um, many uh, pirate captains who held the the, the rock. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a wild west town. Um, Captain Brawl himself died, uh, you know, raiding groundlings elsewhere in the system, but was then caught by Sparalian, you know, elven navy ships. And uh, about 100 years ago, so that's, you know, 200 years ago or so, nearly. And then about 100 years ago, the current house... Uh, rose where Kozar decided that uh, the rock was better not as a kind of pirate base but as a trading base where yeah maybe pirates could come visit but the point would be that it would be a non-violent place it wouldn't be you know it, it would itself um, be a say you know safe base and trading place amongst the stars and then uh, Prin Prince Andrew is uh, the fourth ruling prince of Brawl when Kozar, Froon, Kalar, um, and then uh, Kalar's brother, Andrew. Uh, Kalar um, left a son behind and a, and a widow. So, yes, in terms of the rough history of the Rock of Brawl and kind of some of the ancient secrets, that would be about it. Uh, the, the, in terms of the age of the designs and stuff that you found, you know, as in you would think that what you found would fit into that 200 year time period. Like, the, you, what, what, what you could tell about the show, clothes and whatever else. It would seem, you'd assume that it happened in that time period. But, yeah. So, yeah, Vil will share all this with you. Hmm. Are there any, um, descriptions of Captain Bro? Like what he looked like, like what the um, woman, and or even where was he buried? Um, he uh, uh, yeah, um, the uh, what's check? Um, yeah, he he was last seen uh, in a viper ship uh, burning up in the atmosphere uh, of uh, another planet in the system. So it's sort of an impromptu burial. Yes. I mean, I think he would have been happy with it. You know, but yeah. If you're going to go out. Uh... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, so it's... So from... Probably anyone that was buried in there was not him. Mm. Would seem like a fair, a fair bet. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was uh, Minial's Arch in the Green Belt, which is an elven colony world. Uh, who are the uh, yeah wild elves, Grugak, who are fairly unfriendly, uh, but the Imperial Elven Navy still has always felt like they needed to protect them. Uh, so yeah, Sam is training his hamster, Bill is doing his research, the doctor is recovering and occasionally following people around uh, saying, I could help you uh, uh, work out how to get inside this hamster. Hmm. Uh, yeah, do Wilsp or Thumb have anything they uh, want to do? Um, I mean, I was thinking that Wilsp would also be interested in research, perhaps on a different angle. Um, like, he has information gathering, so maybe he can find people who might know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think he'll just get out in the streets and ask around. But perhaps just kind of ask about, you know, find people who know about this, but maybe, maybe people who know about this, or, but not like, you know, not academics, people who've, who've been around a while or have had families here for a long time. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Good records, maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you can make your check. Do you want to roll? A, do you want to roll a detailing counter check? It in you know, going round pubs and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, six. Uh, Great, and you want to make your information gathering check? Uh, what book is information gathering from? Because it's one that has a Complete special thieves. modifier. Complete thieves. Thief. Thief, thieves. Yeah, because it has a special modifier, and I don't know what the modifier would be here. Uh, yeah. Efficiencies. I think it is actually, it is a, it's a echo. It's not completely dissimilar to your, um, yeah, your, your Yakuza's information gathering in our oh, or yeah. Punches game. It's not quite the same. It's, uh, a, yeah. So. Um, let's see. Reaction adjustments should benefit or penalize for or human contact with people who's involved in search. Fuse guild members receive a bonus of plus two. Um, not a guild member. Depends on a people. network of informants and contacts, thief will be at a disadvantage trying to use it in an area other than his own territory. I'd assume, since I'm living the Rock of Brawl, Brawl counts as mm. territory. Or perhaps, yeah, the, it, you know, the, the poorer neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is, what's Wilsp's charisma? What's his modifier? I uh, don't think there was a big one. Uh, reaction plus two. Plus two. Oh, so that will count towards your stat, won't it? The way this will work yeah, is yeah. it will count as your stat will go up by two. Your, yeah, we'll assume this is where you're from. So yeah, roll your information gathering with that as the modifiers. Yeah, that's actually better than I thought it would be. Uh, so that will end up being... Oh, yeah, very good odds. I will not say them out loud because every time I say the number, things go bad. <laughs> hey! That succeeds. What was that? It's against a 15. <laughs> No, 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 it's, 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 um, it would have ended up, um, it's, um, it would have been int plus two, my int is, uh, 16. Oh, well, 16, so 18, yeah. Yeah. No, 17. So 17, so you just succeeded. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. yeah. And, um, what, does information gathering, what's it exactly say? We've used it before for festival, obviously, but what's it exactly say? What information you're getting? Uh... It represents the ability to gather information from the underworld, most commonly about roguish jobs and characters. A character's proficiency in appropriate circumstances will be aware of any major rumours circulating about the low life of an area. With a successful proficiency check, specific information about a personal place can be gathered. Um, so I guess it's more I'd find out who knows rather than information itself. Um, oh yeah, so you, you, yeah, you kind of get a lead on where you might go um, yeah, for yeah. that kind of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Low life information. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess it's, it's not necessarily all like like thugs and scum and villainy. It might just be. No, no, I know. I'm but yeah, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I, like I'm joking. But... Workers and, you know. Yep. Right. He's, he's, talking to, he's talking to the union. Yeah. Uh. I can imagine uh, Wolf, Wolf joining a guild, but it actually just being like, not a Thieves Guild, but just like like a Tinkerer's Guild or something. Yeah. <laughs> and using it exactly the same way. <laughs> Except all the information they give is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, um, just finding the... Maybe it's under... Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I think Ark and Nebrodic, um might uh, will probably strike you uh, as potentially a good uh, good option. Uh, or Ki maybe Kiardi Aladam, I think, probably been around for less time. Uh, but just in terms of, yeah, I think Ark and Nebrodic, the house of, the head of house of uh, has uh, been on the rocks quite a long time, I think. Yeah, Kiardi Aladan is quite young. Um, Arkan Nabrodok is a retired adventurer who's held his position as a noble council member since Kozar's day, a hundred years ago. Ar Arkan Nabrodok. He, and he himself, you've, you've actually met some of his sons. He has seven sons, if you recall, and you met some of them in a pub. Did we? Yes. Probably. This is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but yes. Um... Yeah, Simon is still on mute, so I don't know if he... Yeah, yeah. sorry. No, no, don't worry. Is, I was torturing a cat, it was very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't know if you had any uh, inverted commas downtime activity you wanted to do. Um, so you've got a couple of people doing research of different kinds, and then you've, you've got someone training a giant space hamster, or beginning to. Yeah, not into training giant space hamsters. Uh, 
The only skills that I have of vague relevance are heraldry, but I don't think that's going to help in the one. I didn't remember there being any shields in any of the coffins we flipped. Um, I mean, there the were carvings on the wall, but we didn't really look at those, did we? Yeah, they were like paintings or carvings on the wall, but yes, you did not look at them. I remember um, asking I mean, about I... them briefly, but I, I don't remember them. I remember them just being sort of, well, I don't remember anything specific about them. Or anything worth it. Nothing yeah, about was, uh, description. Dep depictions of piracy, rapine, and pillage, that kind of thing. Yeah, that was it. It was just sort of like, you know, that's why you concluded they were probably pirates. That was your conclusion. Um, and that we're not going all the way back to like the early Elipid ruins or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got this knife. The only thing I can think of doing really is going to like a, um, seeing if I can get the knife identified. But they're going to charge you for that. We don't oh, have a lot of gold. I can, um, Detect magic to make sure it is actually magic at some point during this week. Yeah, that's probably worthwhile doing. Yeah. Uh, maybe just taking it to like an antique um, and just try to get it. Like, if we could find out about the knife, that might help us. That might be a good clue. Mm -hmm. um, I could have a look at it with my 3% chance of identifying vaguely what it does. Yeah, maybe do yeah, that. I'll, I'll, let you do, I'll let you do that while recovering because you can sit in bed while doing that, can't you? I mean, I, I have no idea. Well, roll your D100, uh, then. I um, did, I got 47. Yeah, you so do not know. Not <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you can probably... Um, uh, yeah, Simon, roll, roll a D10 for walking around town. Cause you are, I, um, I think Phil was all saying, if Phil said if anyone wanted to get rumours, they could as well. I rolled a six. No, no encounter. Uh, it is a show tanto. It's a kind of personal grooming dagger. Show and it's the idea... Is, is the idea that Wilson is going to detect magic? Yeah, yeah. What you say? Yeah. Oh, but the tall knife got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, it is magical and will have um, it, uh, alteration magic, whatever the base is. Yeah, what most uh, magic weapons have. So yeah, a dagger. So I don't know who can use daggers. Uh, Will Spear. Yep, yeah, great. Will Spear, very happy to yeah. have magic dagger. Yeah. And you know, it's, 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 a, it's smaller than average dagger. It makes sense, right? Yeah. I was going to say, it'll count as a dagger for doing damage. Um, as an, It's not a knife. It is still a dagger. But uh, yeah, it is slightly smaller than normal. Because I think I looked this up and I was like, oh, actually, that would still be... It, it's not the same as, like, a pocket knife or something. Tantos are larger than that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, was I, I guess, yeah, if you, if uh, if someone wants to do anything else, uh, he can. But, um, and if Will wants to go to see Arkham Nebrodok or something, or try to get an interview, I guess he can. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go alone, but perhaps, you know. Do you actually have anyone who can, like, talk to people for, of, with reasonable... You don't have Flynn anymore. I mean, is Will, Sp right? is Will Spook Charisma 14 now the face of the party? Well, it's Sam so has Charisma of 5, so it's definitely not him. I fully yeah. believe in my Charisma of 8. Can anyone anyone beat me on 14? I, I just told you 8. Oh, dear. I'm brilliant with people. I have my charisma. I'm 14 as well. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you somehow someone has let Simon become the joint face of the party. I, I, well, I think it's worse that I'm somehow the joint face. <laughs> right. Should we go? And, and anybody else interested in learning about history want to come with me and talk to this 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 guy? Yeah. Okay. Sam is um, curled up next to the space hamster, picking his nose. He has no interest in books. I nail up a sign saying licensed barber surgeon and choir within outside the red house. <laughs> Completely ignoring Yeah, the landlady <laughs> starts to get very annoyed at you. <laughs> and I'm in the library, so you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, Vila's Vir, uh, Vir, got some useful information. Um, uh, yeah, that is one thing. I mean, read what we're saying. Because obviously, you asked about rumors last time, and Bill said this time. You, cannot, you can go to factions and stuff. That's an, an obvious place to seek extra jobs. Is yeah, go to factions. Shop, and stuff. Uh, 
Let's show up on the chained men's doorstep and ask them for room. What do you need us to do? <laughs> yeah. How did you find our secret base? Don't worry about that now. It just shows how valuable we are. I mean, we know where the Yakuza live. We could always go and talk to them. Mm. They seem nice. No. I think no. They could use do they? Like, we got in like a people. bloody fight with them. I don't know if nice. I mean, I I didn't. No, I they mean, were nice to me. Exactly. My I wasn't there. Didn't. You know, they're paying, they're probably really nice people. No. You pay them money and they look after you. Yeah. You pay them to protect you, they're like bodyguards. Um. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. See, it's, it's, it's funny, I feel like this is something that, set, like, Sam for his low end would not fall for. Whereas Dr. Jones with Jimmy higher end but low whiz is like, yeah, this is an amazing idea. Yeah, this should be the other way around, but... Mm. <laughs> well, no, high whiz means you, you, you can sniff that it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we'll see. I don't, actually know, what, I don't actually I don't know what Sam's whiz is, to be fair. But... I'm thinking me as Wilf being the one saying no, uh, when Wilf does yeah. not have high whiz. <laughs> Somehow he is still wiser than the Doctor. <laughs> uh, great. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, Lord Nebrodok is who you're interested in, uh, I can see. Um, yeah, so yeah, he lives in the Dwarven District rather than in the, in Hightown. And, uh, yeah, I guess if you look, seek for an interview with him, uh, you'll be asked what your business is. Probably one of his sons, uh, one of his older sons will, um, meet with, uh, you know, me members of an adventuring company, uh, who are, are, have literally been heard of. So, uh, yes. What, what, what is the polite protocol for this? For just turning up at some guy's house and being like, we want to talk about shit. We say it's a, a, well, a social visit? Yeah, you, yeah, a, yeah, his, 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 uh, yeah. Um, yeah, his son will say, uh, and what manner of socialising are you wanting to do? Mercenaries? Are you not? Um, I, I, I mean, it depends how you say mercenary, you know? <laughs> Mercenary? It's fine play your It's fourteen. Well there's a difference between, you know, saying mercenary, oh yes, you're someone who 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 does, you know you know, it's just a, another form of labour, right? That's that's perfectly respectable. Whereas, you know, oh, you're a mercenary, you 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 know, you kill people for money. You know, that's completely yeah. different, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, he'll uh, he'll say, well, I, I can, uh, you know, that, though, though my father is a busy man, I can uh, certainly pass on um, your your calling card and uh, any anything you're uh, anything you're desiring to, um, you know, particularly interested in discussing, I can pass on to him. Um, something there, there was one thing we were interested in, uh, just just a fairly open discussion about uh, local history. Um, yeah. Uh, what? So yeah, you'll you'll be uh, you know you'll be you'll be turfed at that point. You'll be told to you know come back another time. Well, uh, or we'll get in touch. Uh, you'll you'll then um, within I guess within this kind of seven day period, uh, you'll receive a note to the Red House because I guess you'll have left your address yeah. um, uh, from uh, Lord and Brodock, um say or uh, uh, yeah from the hand of his son, but on his behalf, you know, dictated by him. Uh, saying uh, though he has uh, much to do, uh, he is um, yeah happy to uh, if you have any questions for you to write to him. Uh, knowing uh, that you're you know the the uh, having having heard uh, uh, some small tell of what your company had accomplished uh, on behalf of uh, you know discreetly on behalf of other nobles. Um, so if you have any we'll, questions, you can we'll, send them we'll. to. Wilson is probably quite impressed by this, having no idea what it means. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, you guys, you guys have a reputation. What, 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 what do you guys do? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. So any of us have any idea? Well, I mean, the the the, uh, the major and the major and start the major and stipe can uh, you know try to explain. <laughs> Well, you see what we did. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes. So yeah, the the major and stipe, I guess, will uh, attempt to explain, and we'll be able to say something like, "Yes, we helped someone." I think we'll, we'll probably hear about the uh, <laughs> the net. Um, I guess there's stuff like you, you, you. I mean, I don't think you tend to be gayest against being like, "We rescued some people from something," yeah. that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it will it will be very strange because when you try to explain why you had gone somewhere, it wouldn't make any sense. Like the story would be like you know how there'd be a bit missing where someone just tells you half a story, but not the first half or the second half, but like ten percent strips of the story. I mean, so yeah, could you could you tell the whole story just without identifying anyone, or was there the gay or small than that? Because definitely think, couldn't yeah, identify think... anyone involved. I think, yeah, I think that the, the, the gayest meant you can talk about the job itself. So you could say we rescued some people. Because remember, that's one thing. It's like Lando's brother, Corby, for instance, you know, you can just go and talk to him. The Grav, because you rescued yeah. that Grav kid. Mm. You know, and the same with Jackson. Like, you can say we rescued some people. You could probably even say we rescued four people. <laughs> and then you could name three of them. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, do you want to send anything back to Lord and Broderick? Uh, yes, probably send him a letter first. Um, you know, a po polite letter, thank him for his time. Probably an, an, an offer, you know, as as go getting uh, slayers of men uh, to you know help if he if if he needs any help in that regard. Um, mm -hmm. You know, any anything to uh, pay him, pay him back for his time at at, at least. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and then, you know, put, put in some general questions about, you know, uh, the pirates of the era that we're interested in. Does he does he know of any, the, the sound of a, a pirate with um, an elderly show woman as an accomplice sound familiar? Uh, oh, yeah. So as you'll be like, we're interested in a pirate who may have had known an elderly show woman some time ago. That kind of thing. Yeah. Would be the question. Yeah. 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 Mm. You pro pro probably yep, no. be very, very specific about what we're asking, but but provide zero context. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess that's not necessarily, um, you know, un unusual. You're just asking. Anything. You're just asking a history question, aren't you? And I guess yeah, you yeah. can be suspicious or not. So that's up to him. Yeah. Okay. I guess that probably includes a mention of pop might that he might have worked or been from realm space. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh. Um. Yep. So uh, you'll you'll get a a letter back. Um. Uh. Yeah. Pro probably it was a, uh, so saying. Um, uh, that uh, yeah, you're 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 surprisingly uh, curious about uh, uh, you know vague parts of uh, virtually ancient history for a human. I guess obviously you're a gnome. You know, you may make some comment about that, but uh, uh, I guess uh, Daniel is a gnome and an elf. You went to see him, so I guess he's like you know some time ago before your time kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm but, uh, presumably quite young now. I didn't actually roll an age. Yeah, you, yeah, you could, you should. I mean, heck, you should gen age. Technically, you can't like. I think it's literally possible on a couple of them possibly to get age adjustments at first level technically. Like at creation, I think. I'm not not the read the players handbook ones, I don't think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But yes, obviously knowing helps because as soon as you hit magical aging or, or anything like that, you know, you can... Um, yeah. Which, hey, we've recently you played a lot on stream, but you obviously used haste and discovered that <laughs> the magical engine requires a system shot. Yeah. Uh, you're like, yeah, yeah which, uh, you're... I'm a mere yeah, Andrew knew that. Years old. Yeah. Uh, does that mess, does that do anything, Tim? No. Uh, 
uh, it is a hundred years old from middle age. Yeah, so that's when you start taking age adjustments. So yeah, you can take 23 years of aging before, prior to any effect, and it'll be the 24th year that would age you. I mean, hey, aging effects aren't all bad. You get extra into your whiz, don't you? Yeah. That mm. first. So yeah, it's good. It's nice. Honestly, it's like the only the second one that will harm me. The second, well, the second and third one that will harm me, because I don't mind too much my strength and con. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're like a wizard and your strength goes down by one or whatever. Yeah. But Dex, and you, you, Dex I'd, I'd miss. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're relying on Dex as a protection. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, what he'll say is that though uh, um, he, he he thinks this might, you know, stretching even before his time, uh, but back to the days of, of Captain Brawl and the early days of kind of king for a day, pirate captains and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, he uh, d does recall some uh, old story uh, of a uh, of a pirate captain uh, who uh, yeah was uh, you know associated with a show, a show woman yeah he kind of um, recalls that and uh, uh, he he says he'll he'll check some of his documents you know where when he has time he he might do this but um and who yes um uh, who who died um he, there's a curious thing he, he believes where the the, the legend or rumor says uh, that uh, his daughter fell ill and disappeared from public sight. Um, and then not long afterwards, he, he uh, very rarely, this is why it sticks in his mind, he, he died of, not in battle, but of a broken heart. Aww. Um, Sounds suspicious. Yeah. How big was the door that you found in the tomb? Door sized? Uh, I'd probably like six feet tall. Why would a sarcophagus need a six foot tall door? It's kind of weird that his daughter disappeared from public life, but specifically, but didn't die. And we found a tomb that could, you know, someone could walk, like a sarcophagus, someone could walk in and out of. No. The door, the door was not a sarcophagus. The the weird blue door was a weird blue metal door. Okay, yeah, not to the people could walk into the sarcophagus. We couldn't open. Yeah, the sarcophagus was a sarcophagus, okay. and then the third sarcophagus we couldn't open was different from the door. Okay, sorry, right. Okay. So she, she still could be a vampire that's been sealed in there, but you know. Fair enough. Nice, nice. <laughs> could be. That's our new party member. Yep. <laughs> we're now playing Vampire the Masquerade, guys, sorry. I don't know if I, how, you, how you feel about that, but that's what we're, we're playing now. The real question is, how do you feel about that, Owen? Negative. <laughs> I say I, I ran I ran a werewolf game for a couple of years, which was I enjoyed. I, I don't hate World of Darkness. I would I don't like vampire particularly. <laughs> What's your opinion on Changeling? Uh, <laughs> the Dreaming, which I guess is what I, I it's got some beautiful Tony Dutilizzi art. It has some kind of really interesting concepts, and it's maybe not quite as non-functional as Wraith, but it is fairly non-functional. Like that. As this thing where you're like, what game are you making out of this? There are games you can make out of it, but it's something where, like, a lot of this stuff is like, oh, this is a cool theme, but how does that actually happen at a table? Whereas D&D &D kind of, in a, not in a, it's not that it's like, oh, the theme doesn't matter. It's not that, it's that the theme is so integrated into the mechanics that you're like, yeah, don't worry about the theme. You're just walking around a dungeon. What do you do? Yeah. Like, Killing the two money. are very integrated. Yeah, exactly. Gold for XP does that. Yeah. So all these things integrate, which means that you're like, oh, the theme is just in the ma mechanics, whereas... World of Darkness, there are mechanics to do with the themes, but it's all very much like the, the storyteller just has to tell you that's what happens. Oh, okay, this now earns this, you know. It's much more... Because it's a, it's, it's a proto-story game. It's mechanically a challenge game, but its aim is to be a story game. Because it's meant to be one where you're like, oh, we've achieved story objectives and my character's developed and stuff. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, hence why I think Werewolf in some ways works best because it's most naturally the one where you're like, or one of the ones that works best because you're like, hey, we're just really angry eco-warriors who want to go and fight stuff. Mm -hmm. We might investigate and sneak around, but we also just kill stuff. Beach is offering to come and LARP in Britain with us. <laughs> if, we, if we play Vampire. He'll come over and play Vampire as a LARP. <laughs> this will be like the live edition when I have a, when my channel's actually big and people are like, man, we really want to watch these guys stream something. They're like, yeah, yeah. It's going to be Vampire. <laughs> as a live stream. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's going to be like, yeah. like the, the 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 super erotic kind of vampire as 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 his. Yeah, it's going to be the one the one where actually the people who play it should be on a list. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough about these games to comment. To be honest, it's fine. You're you're better you're better off. I, I imagine you can you can make some assumptions knowing mm. presumably anything about vampire fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, we should wrap up in a second. Peter's just comes in a, um, because of daylight savings, etc. Um, but what are we? Yeah, uh, we can ro- we can obviously run to the end of the recovery period for Doctor Chahonez Ch- Jones. Um, but yeah, it depends what you want to do next. I, I I assume that's basically Bill's done his research and given you stuff from the books he's read. Um, Sam is training a hamster. Anything else you want to do in that downtime period? I mean, we haven't figured out what we're doing next, have we, really, after this? No. Uh, I guess I one guess thing you could decide you could decide what you're doing next. There's still four of you. Beach will go along with it. And also, is there anything you want to do in downtime? Anything else? Um, I guess the last question. Did did Arkin mention any um, kind of work? You know, given given I'd have offered him the letter. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, then I'll, if, I'll have a if, check. If not, then I guess continue looking for rumours work. Maybe think of what organisations we know and we're happy working with. Mm-hmm. Um, the Yakuza? And try to find... Not Yakuza. <laughs> so in terms of society's not... Um, I think, yeah, Arkham will keep your offer in mind. Um, he is mostly a landlord, so... Uh, uh, like, that, uh, yeah, from having built loads of um, the uh, Wolven Quarter. Um, but yeah, the... So, major guild society's orders, the Pragmatic Order of Thought, the POTS, are, um, yeah, famed as a uh, and kind of anti-slaver group. Um, the Seekers, you've got access to. You, in fact, you have a member of it as a member, not of the Seekers, but of the library. So, you, you know. Uh, the Fireball Alliance is an organization of native Bralian mages. They're usually more powerful than than these guys. We have um, a lot of mages. You guys, actually, don't we? Yeah. So, uh, we ship ask. flights guild. Sh- the the uh, the show uh, local benef- beneficial uh, organization. Um, uh, the honored majors guild of Brawl. Which is open to any member, but obviously you're, you're paying in. Whereas the Fireball Alliance is more like a, you know, it's a military, it's a voluntary military group. So, uh, yeah. So, on the Major's Guild, you obviously get access to materials and to um, half price training and stuff like that. So, yes, those are guilds you could join or look into. There's also fighting groups, which you can also look into. Uh, I guess technically. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it depends what you want to do. I like uh, yeah. Fireball Alliance. Fireball Alliance, it is. <laughs> yeah, see if, it, see if they've got any work for us. Yeah, you know, we want to get to Fireball Alliance and we want work. <laughs> Hello, we kill people. <laughs> what we do, we, we um, kill people. We're contractors. Um, we we change the we um, rebuild walls and we remove interior walls and we look at we abandoned ships. People. We make them better. Um, yeah. I, I expect uh, that the yeah the the the, the letter from the Fire Alliance says we we also can remove interior walls <laughs> and and of people with extreme prejudice. We'd we'd like to learn how to do it better. <laughs> um, in terms of the majors, you'd be directed to the Honoured Majors Guild uh, for that sort of thing. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, low level wizards, it'd be a 10 gold per month cost, which gives you um, potential access to spell components or potion ingredients. And uh, you, yeah, um, you can advertise for spells you want to learn. 
So I give you half price training. So that's something that the that I guess that would apply to uh, Wils and Bill mm-hmm. and Zethra. So something potentially we don't need to work that out now. But like, uh, you could join the Honor Dangerous Guild. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Any final things? Any other organisations want to approach? We've got a lot or of work. Or for... what's that? Sorry. We've got a fair amount of faves and logs. That is true. We really should try and find some sort of guild or something that could maybe train us. Mm-hmm. Is there such a thing? There's the Yakuza. Um, not the Yakuza. We're not joining the fucking Yakuza. Wow. I mean, there, there are there are there are, uh, there are the, the yeah the un, the underbarons of Brawl. Um, you heard a rumor about a. Uh, um, a, a mysterious underbaron um, who uh, uh, ran the kind of, you know, was um, ran the some of the more dubious trades. Uh, but yes, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think what if any of you would know. I guess uh, Do- Doctor Doctor Jones um, would probably be aware that yes, there are uh, considered to be four underbarons. You've heard some rumours about the, the one who no one knows anything about. You didn't pick that up last time. Um, there's the Red Masks, are a, a fairly violent gang who uh, hold around, who do the kind of have the elite trade around the greater market. The Jugglers Men, who are uh, in the Middle City and High City. Uh, the Halfling Thieves Guild. Um, well, it, 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 it's, again, they don't call themselves the Halfling Thieves Guild. It is again a, a fraternal organisation, and the show. The uh, Beneficial Association for Show and Cosmic Villains. We should go to the show. You're not throwing the Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think we'd get on very well in the Halfling Fraternal Organization somehow. Spike might. <laughs> I feel like that would stick out. Yeah, the Zix chill. Spike's lawful good, he's not joining a Thieves Guild. Yeah. No, I think this is this is for Doctor Jones and may, maybe for Wilsp if he can convince Wilsp to come and uh, you know Actually, I guess he's... get involved. I mean, not joining, just you know, subcontracting in exchange for training benefits. Yeah, doing jobs for them. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, that's something you can look into as well. Uh, but cool. Okay, uh, we got, should we finish up for tonight then? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and we'll skip forward to fully heal. So, oh, yeah, that's the thing. What do you want to do next session? That was the other question. One question was, did you want to do any other downtime discussions or meetings? We've done that. And what do you want to do next time? I guess look for more rumours and then... Fishing is our only other option, really, isn't it? Fishing, unless we want to see if there's anything left on the, the, the Nautiloid. And I don't think we really want to go back to the Nautiloid. Oh, uh, I... Uh, no. Risk reward trade off doesn't seem worth it. Um, yeah. We could do a fishing run, get enough gold to train thumb. Um, yeah. And then... uh, you're, the other kind of non, the other non rumor thing is obviously go to a bigger planet than Brawl. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And we, we yeah, you, that... maybe try and continue I mean... looking for leads and this thing. Try and find the yeah. brandy boys. I mean, not... Yeah, go past them. Those damn say, in, terms of, uh, in terms of planets and stuff in Brawl, I'll say this quickly. You've got the Sun, which is a fire world. Bar Sinister is a smuggler's port near the Sun, uh, which is a neutral zone, more illegal than the Rock of Brawl, like more of a Moss Eisley. Uh, there's Scaverbone is a large feeder asteroid. Uh, Shipwrecker is a... Uh, uh, small planet, um, which has a colony on it, um, run by the Royal Shipwrights Guild. Gil. So that's something. You, as a free river, there is always stuff there. Like there is gold there, uh, but there are there are goblin tribes there as well. So that is in terms of permanent mercenary work. Go to Shipwrecker. Um, Barbuda is a sea planet, which uh, um, not it's not mysterious in the kind of sense no one's ever been there, but it's just it's not heavy settled there are rumors of various water creatures who live on it minial's arch has wild elves who don't necessarily like uh uh visitors but uh, there are 
lots of in- there are lots of interesting animals and resources there. Uh, there's another elven colony on New Melador, which is two asteroids joined together by a big plant. It's a live world, some would call it, live body. That's uh, there's a dwarven, yeah, there's a dwarven nation in an asteroid field, Diamond Hammer's Stake. Um, so again, I think, oh yeah, that's one thing. I can will know about that, so I'll see if he's got anything to say about that. Uh, the God's Marbles, you've got fishing in, obviously. Um, and, and there's lots of miners and stuff like that there. Grainfields is, you've been to um, a, uh, a an asteroid in the uh, in the Grainfields, actually. Obviously, it wasn't a um, uh, a farming asteroid. Rockabral, Spiral, uh, a weird planet called Splicker. There's a pacifist uh, settlement on an asteroid called Unipaxala. And Iron Peace, which is the gnomish planet which yeah the gnomes are obviously uh, arming to resist the scroll who have taken out a spiral yeah that sounds like some good options i mean yeah yeah uh yeah i was I gonna mean, say the kind of, does it depend on what kind of business we're hoping Establish really, yeah. Long term, personally, I think money. to Moss Eisley, they probably have the widest customer base. Yeah, makes money. People probably don't ask questions. I mean, there's the um, I've forgotten the name of it already now. The oh. one with the the goblin one with the permanent work could be. Oh, the one with the goblin tribes. Uh, that is shipwrecker. Yeah, quit of fishing. Got shipwrecker. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Goblin sounds like a nice, safe level one quest. <laughs> <laughs> Which, given we nearly died to rats, doesn't really mean much, but, you know. <laughs> well, you, you'll soon have a couple of le- level die. two people giving a very strong gift. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he's way too good for goblins. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in terms of uh, diamond hammers, date. Um, I think yeah, uh, they, uh, they they take. I think uh, Archibald will say that they um, rely on food from Brawl. So um, yes, you, you know. Uh, Something if you are right, uh, you can probably ship food there and sell it. Got a trading mission. Diamond Hammer Steak is a good one to oh. catch a bunch of fish and go sell them to them ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds, that's, that's actually yeah. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say uh, make more money out of the fish. Hundred percent profit. Yeah. No. Cool. Well, I, get, I was going to say so. Pishing, diamond hammer steak, and then possibly training and or shipwrecker next time. Yeah. Is that what we're going for? Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I guess we'll be on in a couple of weeks then, um, I assume. And we'll see how, uh, yeah, uh, see how it goes. But yes, uh, thanks for that, guys. Good session. Thanks. Yeah.